Hello there, welcome to the CTrader Algorithmic School Hints and Tips. These hints and tips are mostly for Visual Studio for your software development. It's to speed up your development and make you more productive. Uh, the first tip we're going to show you today is how to reuse code snippets. And this is built into CTrader. So um, what I'm going to, what you do, what, what the whole idea behind it is this, is that um, when you write your algorithms, uh, if you're um, writing algorithms for, say, CTrader or any other platform, you probably um, have your code that you have to duplicate. So you kind of repeat code, like trailing stop, for example, or break even, or other bits of logic. You probably have to go through other code, copy and paste it onto your uh, screen and find that code. There is no kind of shelfware library where you can just insert a snippet, which is not what I'm going to show you. So you just want to snip it for, say, trailing stop, you want to snip it for break even, or you want to snip it for um, opening positions with certain logic. So this is going to help you create your library. Um, so what we're going to show you is it's an extension that you add to Visual Studio. So you click on Tools, you go to Extensions and Updates, and you look at uh, you go and search for Code Snippet Studio. So it won't be on there. You'll have to click on the online, and you'll have to type in Code Snippet. It should come up. So this is getting from the internet now. These extensions for the framework. So this is to enhance the actual, uh, sorry, not the framework, enhance the development environment, Visual Studio. So I've got it installed already, Code Snippet Studio. You just install it. Once it's installed, um, you then open it up by going View, Other Windows, and then you go down to the bottom, Code Snippet Studio. Okay. Now here's one we've created already for trailing stop. Um, so it can be more than just one method. It can be a small piece of code. It can be as, as little as one line of code, or it can be a block of logic. Now this block, block of logic is for trailing stops. So this will manage trailing stops. Um, that you that the whole thing. You can just call it with, call the single line manage trailing stops. So you pretty much put your code in there, then you save it, and then you save it into a directory. We call it C Trader Code Snippets in our working folder. So um, you call it a trailing stop snippet. You just save it as that, which is straightforward. And you have one, and then you create another one. So you have one for each bit of uh, logic of what you're doing. And then to access it, you literally click on your screen. As you're programming, you then right click your mouse <clears throat> and then go to insert snippet there or control K. And then you choose, and you've got also um, visual C snippets you can choose here. You can do um, like the region tag, it'll automatically put a region tag in you. So it's all built in already for the kind of, it's, it saves you time and having to write out things, repetitive things that you do uh, on a daily basis. It makes it a lot easier. So we're going to insert, insert the trailing stop logic. And all you do is uh, insert snippet. And we've created a folder called CTrader Code Snippets. And you select the one you want. So this would obviously be a big list of uh, snippets that you want to use. And you can select the one you want to use. And it'll put the whole block of code in. As a region. There you go, and that will save you a huge amount of time. Now, to actually, I've missed one step that you need to do. You need to go to Tools, um, Code Snippets Manager. So when you install, uh, when you run the um, the snippets to, uh, application, that's the extension that I saw, and you added your snippets, you need to add the folder with the snippets into here. I call it C Trader Code Snippets. You pretty much just go add, find the folder that you've uh, saved your snippets, and I call it CTrader Code Snippets. You select, click Select Folder. It will add it to your Code Snippets Manager. Make sure you select C Sharp up here. Then when you click OK, it will actually um, allow you then to use it. So that's it. It's very simple to use, and you'll find it very useful. Okay.